everybody, welcome to my new re-vlog. I'm sorry that I didn't vlog yesterday. I just kind of want a, a, a relaxing day, plus I was tired from work. I didn't do any re yesterday, just because I was like, I need a break from the readathon, but I'm ready to get back into it. Reading, and I'm still currently reading on The Book Thief by Mark Suisak, Marcus Suisak, excuse me, and I'm on page 140. Two, I might read this physically before I get back to the Aya book just because I want to experience it. Plus there's drawings in here and I just want to experience it physically. And hopefully I'm going to start on um, Death by Coffee uh, by Alex Erickson seeing as this is my lowest rated book on my TBR. And since I participated in Becca's Bookopolathon, I wanted to read something short. And then it's pretty short. I know it doesn't look short, but it's um, 300 pages, I think. Think, yeah, 300 pages, so I might read this really quickly just because before I get back into like one of the other books on my TBR that um, tickets read picked out for me, I wanted to read something short. And with um, Rain Rush coming out next week, I kind of want to try to read some of the shorter books as much as I want to, depending on a, one of the books on my TBR that I'm in the mood for. I don't know why I'm thinking about changing my. Um, read Rush TBR or or adding it because I want to read um, these um, Bell's Tale and the Beast's Tale because they were from the live action movies which I got for um, Christmas from my parents and I have not read them yet and they've been on my shelves for three years and I do want to read them plus they're pretty short and they're quick to read so I might count those as my Rain Rush books but I don't know yet so yeah I'm gonna Continue on with the book thief before I start on um, Death by Coffee. Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. If you hear the rain in the background, it's pouring down hard and I'm sorry and that's why the lighting's also bad. But I just started on um, Death by Coffee by Eric Erickson or Alex Erickson. Oh, oh my gosh, what is wrong? So I'm really liking it so far even though I read the first chapter and um, I really want to continue on with it. I'm pretty sure I probably won't read as fast as any other um, cozy mystery books that I've read but I definitely want to get go up to the 100 page mark or 200 page mark depending on if I can put it down because I love mystery and I'm really liking it so far I just found out that the cat's um, name is um, I just found out the cat's name and I'm like <laughs> sounds like my cat just because not only he looks like him because my cat is black and white but um but he's also um a trouble maker <laughs> so yeah i'm really happy about that and i'm really liking it so far and i'm not gonna tell you what the synopsis of this one because i like going into mystery blind and i don't tell people what's it about until i actually finish it so again i'm really liking it so far and hopefully i read more of this tonight and yesterday i actually forgot to show you guys that um I got some more um, shelves to fill because Kevin has collected some manga and I wanted to read some manga. He was going through them, whether he to keep them. He gave some of them to me because he knows I want to read them and I'll show you guys um, some of them. So here is the mangas I have. Um, Fairy Tale was recent. Kevin actually got this for me because he was getting um, a One Piece manga and he was nice enough to give me um, first volume of Fairy Tale, which is becoming one of my favorite anime shows thanks to him and I really want to collect all of these hopefully and then I got Bleach the first three volumes I have first one second one and third one and, I, and it's one of my favorite anime shows of all time and then all these Yu-Gi-Oh mangas and yeah Kevin has collected all of them and then he got um, into one piece so he gave he get he was nice enough to give me some of his manga so hopefully um when it, with readathons and stuff or with my ticket to read game I get to read one of them or multiple of them um who knows um yeah I'm really excited about that and um, I almost have all of my unread Folks, if you guys haven't seen my last rain vlog, I kind of I'm slowly moving my stuff from my parents' house to here, seeing as I'm living with Kevin now, and um, I'm just really hoping like some my I'm gonna bring some of my red books along with it and just start filling the shelves as I go, just because it's easier for me, especially with the pandemic. I can't 
like keep going to my parents' house every week just to get my stuff. So yeah, and also I forgot to show you guys I also brought some of my Zoom Zooms over just because I love them so much and they're so adorable. And um, I don't have all of them with me. I just want to bring some little things to bring so when I actually start decorating these shelves with my fungal pops and stuff, I would actually um, have something. But for right now, I have all my unread books on these two shelves along with my Read some of my red books over here. They will be moved as soon as I get because I organize my shelves by genre. So, as long as so, it as far as like if I have fancy books, I'll put all my red fancy books along with them, and um, and then all the mysteries I would put all the mystery books together. So, yeah, I'm loving how these shelves are coming together so far, and yeah, Kevin's One Piece manga is up there. It's not gonna stay because I because these are my bookshelves, not mine and Kevin's. So we're gonna figure out where to put his One Piece mangas because I know he's trying to collect all of them. And um, yeah, I should get back in um, to reading before the rain distracts me and, tell, and makes me stop reading. Hey everybody, it's Thursday, whoop. Yeah. I've read more of um, Death by Coffee this morning, or I've, I've read them this morning. I got to page 69. It, I'm really liking it so far, but I had to stop because I had a really late breakfast, and um, I'm really liking this so far, so I really want to continue with this. And uh, yesterday, I literally forgot to tell you guys how far I got to The Book Thief. I got to page 239, so I'm like about halfway through it. I'm probably going to continue this on um, a little bit on audiobook because, um, Kim and I usually go for our, um, walk around town if it's not, um, too hot out, so I'm gonna be listening to the audiobook for this, and I'm gonna be continuing, um, Death by Coffee, I almost forgot to say the name of the book there, and I'm really liking it so far, and I'm still trying to figure out why people didn't like it, because this was why, um, Lois Ray picked for my TBR game. So I'm like so far I'm really liking it and and I'm still and like I'm I'm loving mysteries because the weird thing is I'm starting to think which one's the killer even though I probably would be wrong but again I'm really liking it so far and um, now I forgot what I was gonna do today I know I got uh, my video for tomorrow which is Friday which will be out by the, when this vlog goes up I probably do some filming today I don't know yet just because I'm like trying to figure out what videos I want to film and I uh, yeah hopefully um, I'll get um, some stuff done that I want to do and especially rain I think I'm mostly gonna focus on rain because I can't put this um, down because I'm really liking it so far and I want to know what happens since it's a mystery novel but other than that hopefully I'll get um, some my to-do list done Hey everybody, happy Friday. I've read a lot of Death by Coffee yesterday. I got to page 219, so I read 200 pages yesterday. I still haven't continued on with my audiobook. I probably will do that today. I'm still trying to figure out what video I want to film, but other than that, I am just gonna spend a day reading some more and watch some booktube videos. Most likely, I want to finish this today just so I can start on another book that I'm thinking about reading which I'll tell you guys once I finish this so yeah I'm really liking it and I will read the reviews just so I figure out why people don't like it because it's the lowest rated book for my TBR game so yeah I'm gonna um, go finish this um, right now. Well I just finished Death by Coffee by Alex Erickson I really enjoyed it and I give us Five out of five stars. And speaking of reading, um, Kevin, what have you been reading lately? <laughs> what? <laughs> what have you been reading lately? <laughs> I've mostly been listening to audiobooks. Like which audiobooks? <laughs> well, I finished The Last Wish um, by some person. Uh, let me... <laughs> <laughs> the first... The, technically the first book of um, the Witcher's series. <laughs> I'm just going to look up the author so that way I can... 
by Andrzej Sapkowski. I probably butchered that name. And uh, I also finished uh, The Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. And I started on The Cimmerillion by J. R. R. Tolkien. Um, I've also been reading the comic book X-Men Days of Future Past by uh, Chris Claremont, I think. Yeah. Well, Have you been really liking all those books artwork. that you just mentioned? Um... Well, Days of Future Past is kind of a reread. Um, Game of Thrones uh, is boring because I saw the TV series, and <laughs> most of the early seasons were pretty spot on with the books. Uh, there was just a couple stuff moved around, but it was pretty easy to predict what was going to happen. Um, and Last Wish was actually very interesting, and uh, The Cimmerillion pretty, is a pretty enjoyable read. This is like my tenth time reading The Cimmerillion. I thought this was your first time reading it. No, I've read The Cimmerillion multiple times. <laughs> so he's been listening to a lot of audiobooks, and of course he's still reading that comic book that he said. So the b next book I'm me picking up, hopefully I'll read it quickly on the next two days before the readathon I'm participating is The Bone Charmer, but I'm not going to start it tonight because I can't get over what happened with Death by Coffee, and um, yeah, I should probably go to bed because I have to work tomorrow, so good. Hey everybody, um, happy Sunday. I'm whispering because everybody else is still asleep. And I'm sorry for not vlogging yesterday. Um, yesterday was a bad day for me and I didn't want to vlog, but I started the Bone Charmer yesterday and I'm on page 55. Not that far into it. I'm really liking it so far, and I really want to continue this today. Also, I listened to my audiobook for The Book Thief, and I got to page 351. So, yeah, I got far enough. Um, I got really far into it from listening to a while playing a board game yesterday, and that's been really helpful. I'm really hoping to finish both of these today. I don't know. It all depends on how I'll go. But today is my birthday. I could not believe that today is my birthday. I still feel like I'm younger than I am. And um, yeah, mostly I'm, what I'm going to be doing today is mostly reading and then playing a board game or two. My family's coming home for a work doing takeouts. I don't want to, I told them I didn't want to go out on my birthday because I'm not comfortable with everything going on. I know everybody's wearing masks and everything. I'm just prefer staying at home to takeouts and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna continue on reading The Bone Charmer before I get myself some breakfast. Page 95 of The Bone Charmer. I'm still really liking it. And weirdly enough, it said it was going to be cloudy today, but look. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's freaking rain out. What the heck? It said it was going to be cloudy on the weather app, and it said it was going to be 
rain. Oh, although I'm going to be staying indoors anyway. It's not like Kim and I are going to go anywhere today. But um, um, I'm, re I'm still enjoying the Bunk Charmer. I'm really hoping to re -love it today before everybody gets here and celebrates. So, yeah. Um, I'm hoping to get some more rain done, but yeah. It's much later. I didn't get more rain done, but my family came over. Dinner was um, good. I um, we did takeout, even though my parents had a terrible experience from the people at the restaurant. But we, it's still. I'm still glad that they were able to come over, just because my family means a lot to me, and I just need to see them whenever I'm stressed out. And I got some classic books that I got for my birthday and other things which I'll show you guys. But the first one that I got here is um, 10,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. I'm usually, I don't know, I know it's weird how I have this, but after seeing um, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea um, on Disney Plus, I, and it's one of the classic Disney movies, and I end up really enjoying it, and I actually want to read the classic, same as Journey to Summer Earth, which isn't made by Disney, but I do want to, I'm excited to read this. I almost hit myself in the face there, and I'm really liking this, this edition. i um, sorry for um, having it covered in plastic still. I'm I'm just still, like, don't want to open them yet, just because, just me. Um, but I do like the cover, and I'm really excited to read this one. The next one I got is Aladdin and the Arabian Nights. I actually never read um, a fairy tale Aladdin before, so I'm excited about that. I really like the cover, and um, yeah, and I'm excited to read this. As well, and the next one that I got is Bam the Upper, and um, these two are from my parents. Thank you, mom and dad. And, and I think the next one I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, um, then I got Bam the Opera. I know, like I've seen um, the the musical fan of the opera. I did enjoy it, but I think the story is sad, but I do want to read the actual story, and oh, there's other stories in here too, other than fan of the opera, like Edgar Allan Poe, um, H.P. Lovecraft, which I've heard of. So, yeah, I'm, and Kevin's surprised I add this to my birthday list. It's because he likes it too, so I thought have my birthday gifts involved around him too, so excited to read this, even though it's a bit chunky, but Hopefully this story is actually um, not long and it, c it includes other stories too, including this one. And the last classic that I got here is Bee and the Bees and other classic stories because they know Bee and the Bees is my all-time favorite fairy tale and I wonder which other fairy tales is in here. I could open this um, right now and find out, but um, for right now I'm really happy that I got this um, edition and it's a uh, beautiful cover and these are Barnes and Noble's classics edition in case you guys didn't know and that's all the books. Next one I got here is this pen book. I since you guys know I've been collecting Disney pens for years. Um I thought I would need something that can help me store them. So it's like a pen it's like a portfolio but with pins and I'm excited to use this even though I'm gonna need more of these or I know there is one that is a, has a more pages in them. So yeah, I'm excited to use this, but my parents said to use them for pin train only. And I know like Disney uh, pin train at Disney is different right now just because with everything going on. So I don't blame them. So yeah, I'm excited for having this. And the next ones I got here is um, Funko Pops. The first one is um, Lee from Kingdom Hearts. I I love, you guys know I love Kingdom Hearts and I wanted to do a bulk tag on it, but I'm not sure yet. I, I love Kingdom Hearts. I have all, almost, yeah, I have almost all the um, Funko Pops of Kingdom Hearts characters, but I know there's two characters or three characters that I really want in Funko Pop form right now. And yeah, and this is Lee, also known as Axel, if you guys haven't played the video game, but here he is. And the last Funko Pop that I got here is Full Picks. I've been loving these 
Pokemon Funko Pop figures. Um, I know there's an I know there's another one that I like. Uh, I hope they have Piplup because she's another uh, um, water type Pokemon that I love other than Squirtle. Squirtle is my all time favorite and Pikachu obviously. So I have another um, Pokemon added to my Funko Pop collection. And the next thing I got from my parents is these boxes. They actually look like books but they're actually boxes I can show you guys. Um, so I can store stuff in here and I could store bookmarks in here. That's why I wanted to get these or art prints that I wanted, like storing purposes. And and I've seen these at work and then my mom was like, I'll get you those for your birthday. So yeah. And I thought it would be, um, um, they would fit perfectly on my shelves because I do want something to look, uh, make my bookshelves look nicer I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I'm mostly going to put them on the bottom just because like I know it's uh, it will be nicer to put on my top shelves but since I'm afraid of these breaking I want to rather them have them on the bottom shelves so it'll be better. I know um, the fam of the opera is from my sister by the way and um, she also gave me a Barnes & Noble gift card. I already bought myself four books from Amazon like when did I buy them? Friday? <laughs> um, yeah, um, and yet I know I shouldn't be buying myself books because I'm on a book by a man, but I told myself I'm allowing myself to get my gift myself books, and um, and she got me a Barnes & Noble gift card, and I'll be, I'm will i not going to spend it right away just because I want to see what other books um, are available for me to buy, and plus I miss going to Barnes & Noble. I keep telling myself I wanted to go, but it just doesn't feel the same while wearing a mask by notes for everybody's safety and with everything going on so yeah that's everything that I got for my birthday I know I got other gift cards too but I don't think you guys are interested and so I'm gonna end this vlog here I had a um, good birthday oh I forgot I forgot to show you guys these <laughs> I also forgot to show you guys um, other things that I got and um, and I got um, the Jungle Cruise um, adventure game from Kevin and he knows I'm a big Disney fan I am and this is one of the new games that came out this year and we wanted to try out Gen Con but unfortunately Gen Con is cancelled which is a board game convention that Kevin and I always go to for his channel so yeah I'm excited about this I'm pretty sure the reason that they are releasing this because of the movie that's coming out whenever that might be and I'm really excited to play this game I love the Jungle Cruise ride at Disney World I've never been to Disneyland but I, that's a Go mine, but I'm excited to play this. And the last game game that I got here is Ticket to Ride, um, The Hearts of Africa from Kevin's Dad. So thank you, Kevin's Dad. And you guys know that I love Ticket to Ride, and my um, TBR game is based around Ticket to Ride. So yeah, I'm really excited about this game, and it's just basically the whole map of um, Africa instead of the U.S. map. It's Africa, obviously, and and this is really hard to fine and um i'm just glad that i got this for my birthday <laughs> so now i'm gonna end this vlog here i'm sorry if this vlog is like either short or a bit long i don't know how long it is until i edit it but it's just this week has just been stressful for me and i'm i'm just so glad that there's people that you guys wish me happy birthday it just means a lot to me i it's just been really stressful for me especially with work which I don't usually talk about where I work or anything but um yeah it's been very stressful and I'm just glad that there's people wishing me a happy birthday and I appreciate everybody who has wished me a happy birthday it's just it's just with everything going on it's really hard for me to be happy when there's a lot of negativity going on in the world and I'm sorry for rambling but it's just been really hard and I just want to thank you all for w wishing me a happy birthday when you get guys is and I know this vlog is going to be up tomorrow which is the 20th which is the start of Rain Rush which I'm excited about and um, I'll talk about it um, tomorrow with my um, Rain Rush Rain Vlog which will be a week long Rain-a-thon, um, rain -thon, or rain, -thon, uh, rain Vlog that's why I meant. So the Reflect everything that happened this week. I only finished one book which is Death by Coffee by Eric Erickson. I give this 5 out of 5 stars and before I 
forget. I did look at the reviews of this. It is seen as this is the lowest rated book on my TBR. Um, many people complain about the main character, which I do understand. She's new in town. She shouldn't be snooping around, but I still enjoy this book. I love and the weird thing is with, I think I mentioned earlier in this vlog that um, I keep guessing who the killer is and I want my guesses were right. So yeah, I'm really excited to continue on with the series, especially when the third and fifth book are holiday themes. Like the third one is Death by Pumpkin Spice, I think it's called. And then the third, fifth one is um, um, Death by Eggnog, which is really funny and I'm glad I try this out. I'm still working on The Book Thief. I might finish, I might fi read this physically and I might have to s try to finish both of my current reads before tomorrow but most likely um, it's not going to happen but I'm still working on this. I might read this physically and then finish this on, on audiobook. I'm not sure yet but I'm still also still working on The Bone Charmer. I know I've read a lot of this today. I got to page 155 so I'm about halfway through it and I'm still enjoying it and um yeah I'm most likely gonna try to finish The Book Thief even though like I want to finish this more but I do want to finish this because I don't want it take me too long to read this too so I hope you guys enjoy this reading vlog if you do give us a thumbs up and comment down below what you're currently reading or what you're if you're joining Reen Rush I don't know but let me know when it comes down below <laughs> and if you haven't already click the subscribe button and click that bell icon so you know if I want to I post new videos also you can follow me on social media like Facebook Twitter Instagram and Goodreads which all links will be down below for you guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye